We've had a delivery. <laughs> so where's this delivery come from? Them. Them? Them amazing wow. people. Okay. <laughs> so we put out a plea um, last week mm. because we've been having big trouble with the outboard engines that we've got, haven't you? <laughs> well, it's more of like, because we're very tidal, so you have to be 100% certain that you're going to get back, don't you really? Otherwise you could lose all your, your rubbish at sea and all that sort of stuff. And we really struggle against the tide. We've got, we've got, but the biggest issue is, is we can't stop, can we? Because the, the tide's taking us. We need a reverse, anyway, blah, blah, blah. The, the outboard, outboards are unreliable and pretty dangerous, I think. Well, they're very underpowered as well yeah. for the yeah. area that we're working in our outboards. Yeah. We've got like a 2.6 horse and yeah. what? The blue engine. Oh, that used to be a four horse in the 70s. In the 70s. So, so it might have lost a couple of horses along the way. So. so with the amount of junk that we're putting on the tender, mm. the smaller engines just weren't cutting it no, for us. No. And we've got a lot of stuff to move over this year. Yeah. We've, you know, obviously the next big job that we're going to be tackling is is the deck heads. The cabin, the cabin tops. The roofs. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that involves us bringing big sheets yeah. of 8 before ply over. But also, I want to be, have faith in the engine to basically go, here you go, Joe Bloggs, it's a good engine, um, yeah. you, you're not going to die. Yeah. So, thank you so much to everyone yeah, who donated towards this engine because this is your engine, not yeah, ours. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, thank you so much. So, should we open it? Should we open it and have a look? <laughs> I've, ne I've never owned. I, I, We've never owned anything new. I, I, I always buy like old crappy seventies stuff. <laughs> so this is really, really new and exciting for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have a look. Oh, what's that? Instructions. So Gemma's reading the instructions, so we'll let Gemma do the um, the checks and the first start, I think. So we're just going to give it a good once over before we do our first start on the engine. So I'm just going to check the gear oil level to make sure we've got enough oil in there. I'm going to use a little cable tie, give it a poke as a dipstick. <laughs> yeah, there we go, look at that. Taste it. What does it smell of? Oil. We're happy with the oil. Did it tell you to do this in the instruction manual? It didn't really give you any good instructions. I've had a look through. And there's no like, what I can see anyway, of like a pre-start checklist. So we're just going to do the things that we know that we need to check. Oh, it's the cleanest engine I've ever seen. Not that I'm a spilly type. <laughs> Up to level. So I went to the petrol station earlier and bought myself a new fuel can. Put some fresh, super unleaded in it because we don't really want to use E10 because apparently E10 can upsets um, outboards. True. So we're ready to start, we've got fuel in it, fuel valves open, fuel's on, chokes on, the safety lanyard is in position, we're in neutral, in the start position. What's the chances? That's called kickback. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Oh, there must be something to 
You know, it's running. It's very quiet. It is very, very That's quiet. That's scary. It's having a wee. That's moving a lot of water, aren't it? Yay, it runs! So yeah, the first couple of pulls, it, it did kick back on me, so... Be careful with that. So I've put a, a temperature recorder, whatever you call it, it's basically a towel, so if the temperature ever gets high, it'll leave a line basically, so it's measuring from 71 to 110, so if we ever achieve 70 degrees, it'll start to put a line up here. It's just basically good for like, when you're in service and you can see what sort of how warm the engine's been basically, so then you can do maintenance, bottle pumping and stuff, so. Oh god, just what I do, ram randomly with my engines, yeah. So, thank you very much for everyone who donated and helped us out, so... This should this should seal us out to the end of the project solution. So, yeah. yeah, this is a very very needed workhorse, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. But we are going to look after it. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for your support. You are all incredible, and we couldn't do it without your help. No. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. So, if you'd like to support our project, join us on our Patreon page where we give regular behind the scenes updates, um, photos, and and. Basically craziness. Craziness, <laughs> yeah. You... Right, off to the water. Yay, let's go! So, welcome back. Today we're doing frames. No, we're not. You said last time that we were doing frames. Don't believe everything I say. Or everything on the internet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, we realised we've got a really, really high tide at mm. half twelve today. Yeah. So we know two hours before and two hours after, we can't possibly think about doing any frames. No. Um, so, we're changing tact because you have to, don't you? You have to be down, I mean. We're compromising. Mm. This summer, it is quite vital that we sort out our deckheads. It's the roof. The roof. Because that isn't going to see us through another winter. Well, I don't think. You know no, what I mean? it's, it's I'll, the right time, springtime, because we put basically fiberglass in the roof, aren't we? So, the whole roof's coming off. And we want to get the boat watertight. Yes. So, what we're going to do today while we've got really, really high water is we're going to get all the crap off that we don't need. Yeah, because there is a lot of it. We brought a lot of stuff over and we've gone. We don't yeah. actually need that. It's just in the way. So, what, obviously, we're also working around our day jobs and our kids. So, when we take the whole roof off, Mm. We can't, like, just do it on a Saturday, take the roof off and come back the following week. What can we not do it a day? <laughs> so, my plan, well, our plan, mm. is when the kids are off school for Easter, yep. get the roof done because we can come and stay here then for a yep. couple of nights to... Um... No, it's obviously weather dependence. <sighs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? But... So, obviously, we're not depending on the tides to do the roof apart mm. from getting all the materials over to the boat because yeah. there's going to be... A lot of sheets of like eight before yeah. marine ply and all the fiberglass and the mm. resins and the but we can probably get that over the week before and mm. um, when we've got high water and then we can get stuck in so we need to start assessing this roof job yeah and what materials that we need mm. so as well as getting all the junk off today we're going to start stripping all the walls because we need to assess the actual structure that's holding the roof up as well so yeah so oh, this is the perfect time to do it now while we can't carry on with woodwork down below and it's only a couple of weeks until Easter mm. so we need to start getting stuff bought. Yep. So first job. Yeah. Was that your best English, sort of Queen's English accent by the way? <laughs> For those of you who can't understand me, should I speak like this? <laughs> I can't do accents, stop it. No. <laughs> so, um, let's clean the junk. Let's do some cleaning. Yes. And we're going to be using our new outboard as well today, which I'm super excited about. Thank you so much to everyone yeah, who cheers, contributed towards the outboard. It's going to be an amazing help. Yeah, yeah. So, cheers. Right, let's tidy up. Okay, that's your job, isn't it? Ooh, <laughs> he's pushing his luck today.
<laughs> Are you out of breath? I am, that was, that was hard work. So what have you got? So we've got a big pile of rubbish that's moved from there today. <laughs> um, the water is just starting to rise though. It's a lot. So I'd recommend you start going and getting your boat because it's coming in fast. So you can see how fast the water moves here. I know it's not 100 mile an hour, but... But yeah, we've got all this rubbish. Chunk down here. <coughs> so it'd be nice to actually walk around the boat. Isn't it? So the plan is, if you go and get the boat, take the first loads of rubbish off the poop deck, and then while you're doing the first loads of rubbish, I'll move all the stuff from the side round to here. Because we need to get it done as fast as we can before the tide drops. That's some planning though, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we could get gems to sort Putin out. <laughs> I think I think she should sort of sort him out. Yeah, tell him. With her dialect. <laughs> He'd be like, I don't know what she's talking about, but I'll just say yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and also, it's February. Ooh. It's nice, March. So. Okay, it's March. But look how nice the weather is. I think I'll be losing a hoodie soon. Oh, I'll have to get the sexy uh... music out. <laughs> I've still got two on those underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how gorgeous it is. It, it's so nice working on a boat when it's not dead windy and not rainy. And look, it's just lovely. And we've got no heating on for the first time. Yeah. Saving diesel. Saving the planet. Yeah. Off to get the tender now. You wouldn't think, like, when I'm walking now, we'll be underwater. Well, it's probably about another metre on this in about an hour, so it's gonna be fun. Today, the road is now a river. We normally drive down here to park, but I think we've got like, well, 9.6 today. 9.4, I think. So it's still coming in as we speak. So um, I think we should go for a little, little spin. What do you think? Yay! <laughs>
Because the boat's clean. We spent all day cleaning up. And it's it's tidy, look. I, just ignore this one last bag of rubbish, it's not here. <laughs> so in here is tidy, organised. So we can now start assessing the deckhead. Okay, deckhead, let's go. <laughs> so what do you do to assess it? Should we go and measure the area? You have to measure the area, don't you? That's a good plan, that, Jim. So, obviously, we know above us in the mid saloon here is all trashed. What we're unsure about is how far forward it goes. Yeah. So, I think next week we've got Robbo coming down to help us for mm. the day. So, I think what we might do is get rid of all the tongue and groove on top yeah. of the wheelhouse wheelhouse ceiling. ceiling yeah. So, we can see what the ply is like underneath. Mm. But what we'll do for now, we're going to go up on the roof. Yeah. We're going to measure the area. We'll measure it all the way. So, we know worst case scenario we can. I think we're still going to use the materials, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Clean boat. Just, let's just show them. I've got a clean boat. It's all. Yeah, don't, don't look at that. Or, or all that stuff but it's tidy isn't it mm. i even went as far as cleaning the ring and little sink and it's a uh, it's tidy yeah. it's a work and both like work in progress boat so it's never going to be absolutely pristine like someone's house but yeah. as well there's like a load of cupboards in the engine room and stuff like that i've just because it was all bagged anyway so all that's gone and the compressor's gone, on not it? Yeah. We can move around now. We've took a lot of stuff off the boat, mm. so she's feeling a bit lighter today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So, should we go up to the roof? Yep, let's go block. And go and measure up. It's been a while since I've been up on the roof. Like, I haven't been up since, like, last summer. <laughs> Uh, meters, oh no, feet. 26 foot. 26 foot. Right. 15 foot. By 26 foot by 15 foot. So obviously it's, it's always very windy up here. It's not going to be ideal when we actually do have to start working with big massive sheets. But hopefully in the summer, God is nice to us. <laughs> Gives us some nice weather. Right, should we go back inside and do some calculations? So obviously when we've completed this this area here, because this is actually the flybridge if you remember, when we've done this, then we're gonna be moving on to this this roof here. But I know it's not all the way down. It's not damaged all the way down, but unfortunately, this is news to Gem as well. These are coming down. How? How? Just cut the balls. Because <sighs> if we're going to do a good job, because if we're going to do a good job, you have to come down. But we need a good place to work, so we'll be working on here. But all this comes apart. It's only our week. It's, it? it's not my. Um, yeah, it's fine. All right, it's a bit windy. Let's go in. Right, so I've done some calculations. And so, some cool drawings by the looks of it. <laughs> I'm not responsible for that. <laughs> Did Amelia do that? So, this is the section of the roof that we've just measured. So it's 26 feet long by 15 feet wide. I'm treating it as a square or a rectangle for my measurements because I know it tapers and stuff and that. That's just that's like way over my head. So. It's 390 square feet. Wow. 
Uh, obviously, it's a bit shorter than that because if you were to put it in a square, you know. So yeah, we're not we're not going to go over that. <laughs> so before anyone shouts at me and goes, "Well, it's not that big, actually," I know. Yeah, but you still need to cut the bars, don't you? And... Yeah. So we are going to need. We're going to be laying our eight before sheets, so it's going to be eight foot this way, and four foot across. Like that. So that's eight foot, that's four foot. So we're gonna need four sheets that way. And we're gonna need four sheets that way. So we're gonna need 16 eight before sheets of marine ply just to do the front section of the roof. So this is just the front. This little drawing here, this is the wheelhouse. Now, because we haven't took the ceiling off the wheelhouse, we don't know what it's like underneath it. But in the mid saloon where we are now, we've got eight beams that need replacing. So we need to get some wood for beams, at least 16 sheets of marine ply. And we need to start looking at fiberglass and resin and what... Ooh. This is all a bit new to us. Um, and obviously it's a it's a big area so we're going to start doing our research now as to what is the best marine ply that we should be using should we be going for the highest quality marine ply if it's all getting fiberglassed that's something we need to do some research on and also what what fiberglass what resin what what should we use so i'll tell you we're not using epoxy no no it's far too expensive <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my little input. Fine. So that's our job coming up in the next couple of weeks, which is going to be quite scary to actually take the whole sort of roof off the middle of your boat. But but we've got some good volunteers, haven't we? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> but also, I'm really looking forward to it, but I'm really apprehensive about it because you know I don't do well hanging off the edges of stuff. <laughs> you just keep us in tea. Yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm getting stuck in. <laughs> uh, tell you what, what we need to measure is how big we need the beams. Okay. So should we go and do that now? I think they need to be 15 foot. <laughs> we, need to, we, need to measure, so we need to measure the dimensions of the beams. Yes. Um, but yeah, right, let's do that. So as you can see that these painted ones here are the originals. Uh, obviously I've did some reinforcements here. But they're very, very skinny. They're basically 35 mil, which is like an inch and a quarter wide. I think dimensionally I'm gonna go a bit wider. But the original ones, they've actually got a camber to them. So we need to basically copy this camber, get more cuts in the workshop. And um, so yeah, I think we're gonna go a bit wider and maintain the camber. Do you want to keep the ceiling flat, Gem, inside? Yeah. Because obviously we want the canvas so the water runs. But do you want to keep it flat inside so it makes our fitting out easier? Yeah. I think we should. Cool. So we'll have to like have a big sort of... But obviously we'll, we'll have to buy a much, much thicker material because we're, we're going to be cutting, cutting the camber into it. So, well, we could do all that in the workshop, so we just come out, boom, put it in. Are you not going to miss your pole? How amazing is it going to be when we haven't got a pole in the middle of the room? Because like this room, especially after we've tidied it. It's bigger. Is it bigger now we've tidied it? Yeah. Yeah. This room's like 12, no, sorry, 11 foot wide. By whatever that is. It's quite a big room. How big is that front room in our house? <laughs> no. I think it's as big as that, is it? No. Go. Cool. So we basically gotta buy like uh material which is gonna come like that and then we're gonna be basically I'm well, not really gonna draw an hammer. We're gonna be then cutting all this bit off here to put the camber into it. Does that make sense? So you want to leave the bottom of it flat. Yeah. Which likes to add strength anyway, so. So something also that we I think we need to consider is this 
project could go on for a week. Yeah. Weather. Because obviously we're taking the roof off the boat. So I think it would be really wise to hang a sheet from here yeah. to here. So we have got... A bit of protection. Yeah. I'm down with that. I like that idea. So that can be all our prep, can't we? Because we need to do some prep for this, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So we can hang a sheet that drapes over there. And then if it does rain, we can still be undercover, mm. can't we? April showers. April showers. <laughs> or April Fool! <laughs> Oh, we're gonna prank you in April Fool. Oh, no, we can't do both. We can't do pranks. You know what to do? Pranks, no. April Fool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be be doing some prep. Um, not today, but in the before the actual roof comes off. So we've got to take all of this off here, which is um, obviously here's the walkway. Here's up there. The same on the other side. Um, what else we taken off? We've got to take all this, all this plastic off because we basically we need to inspect everything that she mounts to, everything that the roof goes onto, don't we? Um, yeah, because obviously there's no point doing a nice new roof if your walls are trashed as well. So I think next week you can stop saying next week. Do you remember? <laughs> So one of the next jobs will be to remove all the walls and assess the walls to make sure that they're good because otherwise we're wasting our time putting a roof on. Okay? <laughs> no, but it will look prettier. It will look prettier. It will look prettier, yeah. prettier isn't it? So what do we say? Thank you Thank for you. watching and subscribe to um, our channel. Little Floater. No. <laughs> little Floater. Has everybody seen Amelia's little own YouTube channel where she's restoring a mirror dinghy? Yeah. You're doing a fantastic job, aren't you? Yes. She is. And we've just she's just ordered the paint. Wow. And it's just been delivered. Wow. So you need to come to the workshop next week and paint your boat. So to find out what colour she's painting the boat, you need to press the little link, it's either there or there. Mm. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I don't know where it is. No, I, can't see it. I think it's up there. It's up there somewhere. Cool. Thank so. you so much for watching. Yeah, cheers, guys. See you see next later. week. Yeah, bye. Um, yeah. Cheers for watching, lads and lasses. Like and subscribe to the video. Right, you know, we all know the score. Ship Athens. So. Press the button, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, you're full of ship. Thanks for watching. Press and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please comment, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe from the beautiful uh, city of Cork in Ireland. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Ship Happens. Hey, that was another great episode. How about we do the right thing? Hit like and subscribe. Tell a friend. This is a great show. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.